<laughs> YouTube put a copyright strike on the Godzilla piece this Oh, you morning. got in trouble already. I, before wow. we even started, I got a copyright strike on Godzilla. Wow. Not NASA, uh, not ISS. Well, Godzilla. <laughs> isn't that what the fair use thing is about? I mean, I thought. Well, I, I thought I only used about uh, 10 seconds of it. I, I manipulated wow. the audio, manipulated the, the video on it. Mm -hmm. I, we'll see. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe this whole thing will go in the, in the YouTube trash and delete uh, bin like mm -hmm. the rest, rest of most of our Christian brothers and sisters offering. Isn't that sad? It's yeah. amazing. I mean, listen, mm -hmm. if, if the Godzilla guy doesn't want me using his clip, I, I understand that. I understand that. Well, I thought when you put stuff out there on Facebook that it was, you know, free for anyone to use. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Mm -hmm. no. Hmm. Plus, you, have, you come under the guy. It's just like, you know, if, if, we were, if we were musicians or if we, you know, got all antsy-pantsy about somebody um, wanting to, uh, you know, use our stuff or our content, we could, we could call YouTube or get them mm -hmm. on the phone, get them on a the bat phone. Whatever the process so is. So how does that work, though? I mean, are you notified when somebody wants to use a little oh, clip yeah, they, of your they send you an uh, email. You know, program? Or? They send you an email ASAP. At least they do me. Wow. I'm just an old guy whittling on the porch with video editing and all that. That's all I am. I am well, a Well, I don't know how it works. That's fry. why you're doing all the technical end of it. I, have, I, I, don't, I don't have any idea. I'm hardly the Well, you do a great one. job. No, I, I do. Yes, I, I, yes listen, you do. Listen, enough with the I flatteries. Well, no, but I saw your um, your screen this morning with all the scriptures, and it's black and white. It looks very professional on. Honestly, it does. I wouldn't well, say it if it wasn't true. Speak of that, let's go ahead mm -hmm. and get that up there then. How about yeah. that? It is. It does look nice. It does. It does. You did a you did a great job. Outstanding. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Nice little reminders mm -hmm. of scripture everywhere. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. The good yeah. the good fun. Did you did you get a chance to watch uh, Elon and his uh his space boat flying from from Earth through the envelope of of the atmosphere from the I atmosphere didn't, no. in, into into Floatyville? Where mm -hmm. there's a ten, I, 10 to the minus 17 tour vacuum environment. Hmm. And, and they just float out there. They wow. Just, they just float. Everything floats. Yeah, no, I didn't see it. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. Like an ice cream float. It just floats. Mm. Oh, well, you know, I like ice cream. So you said who, the word ice cream. I mean, they're going to have to go to the grocery store to get some or Dairy uh, Queen. <laughs> who doesn't like ice cream? You know my. You I know don't my, know. You know what I've said before. Uh huh. There's no such thing as bad ice cream and yeah, and, and bad. I'll leave it up to the imagine the wild imagination. Well, did I tell you I tried my hand in making homemade ice cream without the ice cream maker? Did you have a white lab coat on? It helps. I did not. Oh, see, that's what it was. I'm gonna have you to know get your because white I love the I love the combination like Dairy Queen. It seems like theirs is not too creamy. It's kind of in between. You know, I get the banana split Blizzard. That is my all time favorite. I've gotten it for I don't know past uh, twenty years, whatever. Right. And it seems like it's a combination between ice cream and ice milk. It's not too creamy. But it's just perfect. It's so I tried to duplicate that texture and consistency, but mine was a little more ice milk. I need. I think I needed to blend it. Plus, I needed more ice. Did you do the uh, crank thing? No, no. I did it with my handheld mixer. That's cheating. Mm -hmm. So you put you have a big bowl, and that's where your ice is, and then you have a smaller bowl, and that's where your ice cream mixture is and then you just have to stand there you know and mix it for 10 minutes but you have to have enough ice because it has to stay cold right and then you mix 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 and you get this supposedly perfect consistency um but i did not have enough ice so i had to cut my mixing short and it yeah. was a little more like ice milk instead of so i just need to 
I just need to keep trying and you know that's I'll good info there. that's good information to have as we prepare it to, is. as we prepare to head into the long dark hard yes. w- winter as as pres- yeah. president elect commissar am I am I the president <laughs> come here <Leo. laughs> Come here, Leo! Come here! Come here, Leo! What a mess. That's good. <laughs> Somebody get Joe's spit and drool rag cup. What a mess. Oh, my. <laughs> Take these opportunities to use our freedom of speech now while we still have them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, I did. There's not too That's much. That's probably going to be one of the first things to go. Well, you know, I think. No, the guns mention, will go first. Well, didn't we mention um, in another video the guy that I saw that you know one of your subscribers uh, recommended Walter Veith. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I watched one of his videos, and it was on the coronavirus and Noah Hyde laws. I couldn't resist. You mean the. Cuckoo for cocoa oh, vid. Cuckoo for cocoa vid. Yeah. Oops. Algorithm Oops. alert. Algorithm alert. Second strike yeah. of the day. Second strike okay. of the day. Mm-hmm. Sorry. See, you're supposed okay. to have your finger on that mute button. <laughs> anyway, he said if we go into martial law, right. then that suspends the Constitution. And then the Noahide laws would come into place. I forgot dun, the point dun, I was trying to make. But anyway, well, when you suspend the Constitution, isn't that your freedom of speech? And always oh, got a Talmud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All day long, I jimmy jimmy don't. If I was a healthy man, I vey. Got my Minnesota yarmulke on. The lovely Mima crocheted for me down in Florida. It's not a yarmulke, and I'm not Jewish. No. <laughs> but, but we are going to read the Talmud, aren't we? I don't know. Are we? Well. Oh, we're going to, not not right now. No, not right today. Not on air. No, but yes. Okay. I Hebrew. have one. Oy vey. Hebrew students. Everyone turn to page one in the Jerusalem Talmud. I have a Babylonian Talmud. That comes much later. Yeah. You know, there are two. We're going to read it together because. Yeah. That'd be a fun read. I, uh, I paged through it when I got it yesterday. And by the way, thank what'd you. What did you think? Oh, you're uh, welcome. I'm I'm glad I'm not Jewish. Oh, okay. Praise God. Thank yeah. you, Lord and Jesus mm-hmm. for that. Mm. Uh, that's a show down the road. Let's okay. let's let's keep our heads in outer space today. That's where it's oh, fun. Oh, okay. It's all over the place. <laughs> That's what makes it fun. Now let's go to our good friends, and we're going to mm-hmm. touch on the the scripture that I had up here earlier, the Isaiah three. Uh, in our early oh, early yeah. early morning Bible study, we stumbled across this and said, "Well, in a backdoor kind of way, this scripture um, is applicable because," and it. <laughs> doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that and who knew that rocket science was uh helium and wood i didn't know that but it is but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that um oh now i see old slow and parkinson's runs in my family i forgot my thought i can't what were we talking about what were we just talking about (laughs) well that's old slow and parkinson's squared What a mess! At one point, we were people are watching this. People are watching this, going, you I'm know, already, there's nothing I enjoy more than watching yeah, two old people <laughs> be forgetful about what they're supposed to be presenting. Yeah, this is me this morning. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Is that a donut? I love donuts. Yeah, that's a donut. I'm a donut brain. <laughs> and now I can't. Oh boy. Here it is. The the push, <laughs> the push, and Isaiah three talks about um, yeah. the the children lording over you, and when we'll get to it, we'll read it, right? Oh, and the women ruling over you as yeah, well. Yeah, and the and the right? women being in charge, and then your whole your all of Jerusalem is a big <laughs> fat mess. 
right? Yeah. And the push for NASA mm -hmm. is to go all women, all minorities, all diversity, and and you know it's the it's the message of unity. You know that the uh, that the fat bachelor with the funny hat and dress in, in Rome is always talking about. Speaking mm -hmm. of that, well, you enjoyed this, didn't you? This ties in with the election and all that mess too, right? You know, hold on a second. I did the wrong one. Well, I am not very organized this morning. This is the one. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Speaking of millennials and Z's. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and this this is Joe Bi this is this is Commissar Biden's party. Telling people to take them out, fight them, knock them down, harass them. Yeah, the good luck with gonna unity. On them. They're going to protest. Wow. They're going to uh, absolutely harass them until they decide that they're going to tell the president, no, I can't hang with you. God is an awesome God. There's another one who's got that. Mm. So anyway, um, yeah. I, pres, pre yeah. Did you notice her boyfriend? He just he doesn't miss a beat. He just keeps on walking. The who's first that? clip view. The first the girl that walks into the sign. Haven't you ever seen him do that? Right. No. Oh, I've seen I've seen him do it. I've seen him walk into doors, walk off curbs. Well, stumble and them, fall. Yes, I've seen them walk into fountains and stuff like that. Yeah, they do the opposite you know, of what we're supposed. Get their early morning swimming in, but yeah. <laughs> but the boyfriend. I'm talking about the boyfriend here. The girlfriend is just laid out on yeah. the ground, and he just keeps walking like nothing ever even happened. We have a. Mm -hmm. We're gonna. We're gonna get to Thanksgiving Day re restrictions as well. Uh, our mm -hmm. our our overlord governor underpants here in Minnesota. He put out the new rules for Thanksgiving. <gasps> what are they? Oh, you. Listen. There's an article in the paper. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. read the whole article. I'll give you the highlight though. If you yeah. have if you have family members and you can only have I think it's seven total. Wow. Right. And mm -hmm. if you have. If you have uh, family members that have come from a different household, right? Like your son, like if your daughter and your son came over with their families, you have right. to, if you were in Minnesota, you have to mm -hmm. have a table for them and, and a table for your other, your, a table for your son and his family, I guess of one and a half, a table for your daughter and her family of 0.5, you know, to, so that you don't go over seven. And then you have to eat, get, get this. You have to eat Thanksgiving dinner with your mask on. How do your, you do that? In your house. Like this. <clears throat> this, this, is our, this is our governor's name. Waltz. Mm -hmm. right, so you put your mask on. And for guys with beards, it's really easy. Right? And then you... you you take it off and <laughs> you put some food easy. in. Well, you have you a put, microphone then you on chew, a headset. That's and then you chew. Mm -hmm. And then you swallow. So you pull you it put, down, you, stick the food in your mouth, and yeah. then pull it back up. Is that yeah. how you have to do it? Yeah. Because the COVID. Oh. <gasps> Algorithm know. alert. Algorithm oh. alert. Algorithm <laughs> alert. Two times. Two times. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, we have to get out of that habit. Well, cuckoo for cocoa vid. I, mm -hmm. I don't know what's wrong with us this morning. I don't either. So, <clears throat> oh, and I just coughed without a mask on. Oh. Contact tracers, contact mm -hmm. tracers. Where's your Lysol spray? Cuckoo for cocoa vid alert. Cuckoo for cocoa vid alert. Mm. What a mess. 
So anyway, yeah, all the, hmm. the politicians are losing their mind, and they want us all to unite after the commissar is in office. And, and, and they're in office because they want to keep democracy alive. Anyway, let's go back to outer space. Okay. I love outer space. Yeah, I watched mm-hmm. them for a while last night, dock and undock. I love watching them float around up there. Right. They're floating. So are they? They just stay in their ship, and. And the international. Float around. Is that what they do? Space buffet. Mm. Mm-hmm. Floatyville Central. Yeah. So where are, are? Is that? And they had is that huge. Them? Yeah, that's them. They went and in last night. Their, where are the, their masks? The four, oh, they don't have it. There is no cuckoo for cocoa vid in outer space. Didn't you know that? Oh. There's no, no social distancing, that. just like in the NFL. Oh, okay. There's no there's no cuckoo for cocoa vid in the NFL or the oh. or the any professional sports. There's mm-hmm. there's none of that up here. Yeah. See, yeah. my hypothesis is this. This is just a form of humiliation for the rest of the commoners. Mm-hmm. The, the the waifs of the serfs and waifs caste system. And they had, look at them, they're, dor- they're dorking around. They didn't know what they were doing. They had mm-hmm. a bad rehearsal. Bad rehearsal, good show, you know, good rehearsal, bad show. So they had a good rehearsal, bad show. Yeah. Hmm. Hello, Kathy, we hear you loud and clear. <laughs> I hope somebody does a flip. <laughs> Where's Margaret this morning? What does she think about all this? I gave her the day off. I got too much oh, you going gave her on. The day off. Okay. I don't need I don't need her messing around here today. Oh, okay. Matter of fact, that all could right. be her right there. Wait a minute. No, no, our Margaret's better. Are you sure? Look, yes. Looks a lot like her. No. Yeah, it does. Looks a lot like her. No, it does. <laughs> no, it does. I, I think they're twin sisters. <laughs> Margaret, does your sister work for NASA? Yeah, she works for NASA. She's got good math skills. Not like you, you big dummy. Thank you to everybody. Morning, Margaret. The DOD. Oh, they goodness. thank the DOD, the Department of Defense. Figure that. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, a couple of Russians up there, an outer space doctor. Mm-hmm. You know, you got a you got a Japanese. You got a a female, you got a, you got an African American, you got some Russians up there, mm-hmm. you know, they're diverse, and they're the kings and queens of the obvious. So tell us how, how oh, the rocket lifted off the pad. Uh, we held on for 27 hours. Uh, and when we got here, and now here we are, and we're so proud of our country. And it's always the same old nonsense. Yeah. We're always proud of them. A lot of good work up there. Yeah. Not only are we proud in this nation of you, but our international partners are extremely What? International partners? What? We're all in this together. I can't take any more of her. <laughs> all right. So that's that mess. Yeah. And then this clod hopper was on a a a, a, a Television interview. For the country, Emily, because we are now going operational with these commercial crew transport services to the space station. So, after the shuttle retired in 2011, we had no way to get to the space station, which we largely built, except for renting rockets from the Russians. And so now we're out from. What we rented rockets from the Russians? I thought Russia was was messing with our elections. This is all theater. Space theater. For the next 10 years of its research life. Now, what exactly are these astronauts going to be doing in space? We always hear the sort of... Yeah, that's a good question. ...scientific experiments, but give us some more details. Uh, we're going to make some space lattice salad. So this crew four, uh, the astronauts who just launched last night, that's how you know Ike Glover and Mike Hopkins and Shannon Walker and Suichi Noguchi, they join the crew of three that's already up there, two Sergeys from Russia and uh, Kate Rubens, who's a, a scientist in her own right. And so that crew now has one extra person over the usual number of six to turn to science research on board the space station. More productivity, more 
person hours applied to science research in the three big labs up on the space station. So everything from growing plants on the oh. station to help us, uh, you know, space, to Mars, space lettuce, recycling mm -hmm. uh, carbon dioxide and making food in space to astrophysics experiments with the alpha magnetic spectrometer. The latest experiment that I've really been intrigued by is using microbes to attack and uh, process rocks from the moon or asteroids to make valuable <laughs> byproducts of these bacteria metabolism byproducts from rocks okay that, that's that that that's a, enough of of ridiculousness for me byproducts from rocks byproducts from rocks mm -hmm. uh-huh mm-hmm mm -hmm. so as you mentioned uh, the names of the astronauts including shannon walker a female a astronaut and african-american astronaut you know this is definitely a, a history making mission and i saw a lot of um parents tweeting about their their little girls um watching this last night talk to us about how this partnership with not not their little boys their little girls tweeting mm -hmm. about it their little mm -hmm. girls wanting to grow up so let's go right into isaiah 3 1 through 12 shall we that's really what I want to dig at. Now, are you are you reading that or? I am not. Okay. Sorry, I had the. Uh, That's fine. Take your time. Romans one. Okay. Well, no, I'm, sure the biblical, I'm, I'm sure all the I'm sure all the biblical cosmologists are going to go. What? Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember Isaiah three one through twelve being a part of the two hundred and fifty plus biblical references to the the description of heaven and earth, what are you talking about? Well, now we're talking about the application of the deception and right. how we have to be aware of what's going on. And guess what? As we've always said, every answer you want to every problem that exists on this static breath realm is in that book. Well, that's amen and amen. It is in the Holy Bible, the authoritative yes. text of God Almighty. The inspired, mm -hmm. God-breathed word. It's all there. Mm -hmm. So you see this, this this onslaught of like Greta Thunderberg or whatever her name is and her, her Swedish mm -hmm. meatball, cross-eyed, nonsense, anger management mess teenager. She's a child. She shouldn't be speaking. And she certainly no. shouldn't be addressing the realm. Right. And then this push of women doing everything, mm -hmm. everything. Prager University had a nice uh, piece on the young, the high school girl who was training hard to become a sprinter, a good sprinter. And within her own team, she was struggling. But she was there, and she was working hard, and she wanted to be the best on her team. And then they went to state competitions, and a couple of transgenders came in, and guess what? Blew oh. everybody out. Blew everybody yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. And she went home and she, she wept. She cried. Mm -hmm. She said, mm -hmm. I can't compete against boys because yeah. science, once again, uh, are we listening? Science says that you can be born a boy and if you think you're a girl, you're a girl. That's science, mm -hmm. folks. That's what science has said. Did science step in and correct that for anybody? No. Right. So yeah, when, pe when people that. say, when people say, well, you, should, you shouldn't be a science denier. Well, how about science does its job for once? Oh, what a mess. Yeah. That's just a gigantic mess. Anyway, I got off base with that young lady, but your heart goes out to, especially for girls. And that's, that's oxymoronic. That's juxtaposed, if you will, mm -hmm. because as they're trying to push forward the agenda for the, for the Mother Earth, the, the Gaia, the Queen Gaia, the Queen of Heaven, the Sophia, they're destroying these little girls with this transgenderism nonsense. Right. So they're they're at odds with each other. This is yeah. how you know that it's a mess. When mm -hmm. they're at odds with each other, that's evil. Evil evil will eat each it, it, themselves, right? They'll gather yeah. and then they'll eat themselves. They'll eat what good is there. So that's why we have to be, you know, salt of the earth, light to the world. That's all. Amen. Amen. Sorry yeah. about that. I got to calm no, down. No, you're fine. I got to calm down. N <laughs> nothing like Isaiah 3, 1 through 12 to calm me down. I'll listen to you read and then I'll, then I'll be flying off this my number one fan. Where's my number one fan this morning? Where's my biggest fan? 
Oh, there. It oh, is. there you go. There he is. Yeah. It's my biggest fan. All right, go ahead. So this is New Living Translation, or did you want something different? No, that's the comic book Bible is fine. <laughs> the Lord, the Lord of heaven's armies, will take away from Jerusalem and Judah everything they depend on, every bit of bread and every drop of water, all their heroes and soldiers, judges and prophets, fortune tellers and elders, army officers and high officials, advisors, skilled sorcerers and astrologers, I will make boys their leaders and toddlers their rulers. People will oppress each other. Man against man, neighbor against neighbor, young people will insult their elders, and vulgar people will sneer at the honorable. In those days, a man will say to his brother, since you have a coat, you be our leader. Take charge of this heap of runes. But he will reply, no, I can't help. I don't have any extra food or clothes. Don't put me in charge. For Jerusalem will stumble and Judah will fall because they speak out against the Lord and refuse to obey him. They provoke him to his face. The very look on their faces gives them away and they display their sin like the people of Sodom. And don't even try to hide it and they're doomed. They brought destruction upon themselves and they tell the godly that they that all will be well for them and they will enjoy the rich reward they have earned. But the wicked are doomed, for they will get exactly what they deserve. Childish leaders oppress my people, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, your leaders mislead you. They send you down the wrong road. And that's all of through 12. Amen and amen. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, show's over. Yeah, we've said it all. <laughs> we didn't. You uh, well, the Bible said it all. Amen. We didn't say anything. We're just well, reading from the Bible, but Lord, that about Lord. sums up what's going on today. Sure does. Mm -hmm. Sure. I, I, are we missing anything, folks? What are we missing? That's it. That's it. Yeah. 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 I'm just stunned. I mean. Give folks an opportunity to Christian ponder that whole 12 verses for a second. Mm -hmm. And once yeah. again, let me be clear. I refer to it as the comic book Bible, just like I refer to the ESV as the ESVN. da 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 da, -da. They're just easy reading translations. You and I both, yeah. when we study, we go KJV, don't we, KJV? We do. I mm -hmm. love saying that. Well, because, you know, you can go to Blue Letter Bible, of and course. I think that's the main um, source that they use is the KJV. I mean, they have other translations, but I think the sure. main one is KJV. So when you want to look up a definition of a word right. to really kind of, I guess, um, understand what they're talking about, then right. you can go. You can go to that. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a here, good concordance. Here, I, you know, here, here's the problem too in America, and and sometimes you know, our pastor makes reference many times to the the disputations that come from, um, you know, saying a, a Bible we're using this translation, or we're using that translation, or we're using the KJV. There's an argument mm -hmm. against all of it. So mm -hmm. if you read something like Isaiah three one through twelve, how about just shut up on all the other nonsense and just Christian ponder, ruminate, meditate, go to your secret place, and just yeah. just try to suss out what you just ha heard, and then read it yourself, and then be still and wait on the Lord and see what happens. Because I'm going to tell you something, for for me and you, you know, when we we spoke of this before we turned the old magic NASA talking digital machine on this morning, um, mm -hmm. it it was crystal clear. Right. Those 12 verses yeah. is exactly what's happening across the realm right now. Right. Yeah. And you can say, well, it's Old Testament. I don't care. I don't care. It's it's Old Testament. Mm -hmm. as, as, well, as you remind them all the time, that it's to be used for example. Mm -hmm. okay. And there's nothing new under the sun. Amen. So you're going to have a continuous repeat of history. Yes. History repeats itself. And by the way, if NASA wants to impress me or, or Elon Musk oil wants to impress me, 
do this. When you're out there in Floatyville on your next EVA outside on the on out on the outside of the um, international uh, all you can eat buffet of imagination, take your camera, turn around and get a picture of the sun, the moon, your mm-hmm. space mobile and and right. then then the curved earth. Get all those and then I'll mm-hmm. be happy. Then I'll be happy. I'll, st- yeah. I'll I'll stop with the biblical cosmology. I will concede. But you're never going to see that ever, ever, mm-hmm. ever. Because it's the fourth wall. In theater, you know that the fourth wall is the audience. You never show the audience. Mm-hmm. You have stage left, stage right, dead on. You never show the fourth wall. They try to get little glimpses of the sun and, you know. And they're going so fast. I mean, I don't want to get carried away here with the math numbers, but I will say this: since they went to the, since they docked last night, and I did watch the whole docking process, what mm-hmm. a laughable joke that is! Right? They, ha- they have said a, a, a million times for the last twenty years, right? Seventeen thousand five hundred miles an hour. That's how fast the International Space Station is going. Oh wow! We're to assume That's pretty fast. we're to ass- yeah ten times as fast as ten times as fast as a bullet out of a rifle, mm-hmm. and then we're to we're to assume that 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 space mobile from the planet Earth in their in their understanding goes seventeen thousand miles an hour, and then catches up with and just floats out there barely moving, and they'll tell you you know what they'll tell you it's relative hmm. it's relative because that's what Einstein said. It's relative. Everything's relative. See what they do with words? See what they yeah. do with words? Everything's relative. Yeah. That's why they yeah. believe that they're upside down people in Australia. I went to Australia. Guess what? The plane didn't magically flip over halfway there. When I got out, I didn't step out of the plane and I was upside down. The rain didn't fall from from below me on top of my head. No. Mm-hmm. I went from a long way away in, in East Tennessee all the way to, to Brisbane, Australia. Is that it's a, to support it's a big, their theory? I don't know what. Listen, look at this. Hold on, stand by. Uh, do the girl from Ipanema <laughs> thing. We haven't done that in a while. Oh, come on, that's you. Girl from Ipanema music, please. Da, da, Thank da, you. Oh goodness. One thing's for sure. He's always I funny. He, I didn't hear any singing. Always. Look what I well, have. I'm, because I'm saying, look what I have. oh, look at you. Did yeah. you buy that? Nope. Where'd you get that? I that got piece? it I got it at Grandma's General Store Tire Change Chocolate Chip oh. Cookie Factory and Heliocentric Center. Okay. Wow. Right. But Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see. Here, here we are right here, and then, okay. and then Australia is all the way over there, and they want you oh. to believe that from way over there, you go all the way down here, uh-huh. right, and that you're upside down, and all this is curved. Yeah. I got a shotgun, a 12-gauge shotgun, and I'm going to take this outside the next time I go pheasant hunting. And I may not get any pheasants, but I'll get one big ball earth. <laughs> a bunch of nonsense, that is. Yeah. And hmm. I got my white lab coat on today, so everybody has to listen to me. I see you. It's Professor Linky. They don't yeah. have any choice. They have to listen to me. I got a white lab coat on. Yeah. And I get... So I that's get... enough to qualify you? Is that what you're saying? But it helps if you have a foreign accent. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So you tell them the the, the hypothetical <laughs> theoretical position of your first assumption, and my first <laughs> assumption is that the Earth is a static breadth realm. Okay. Because the Bible says so. So what are you going to do now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got my lab coat on and I got a foreign accent. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody shut shut your cake holes. There you go. You've heard it from the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour.
Oh yeah. Look at you with the Look with the you. vernacular. Look at you with the spectacular and I didn't vernacular. Even read your, see, I did good. I didn't read your sign. You're showing your southern. I did good. I did good. <laughs> I did well. I did well. Yes, thank you. I've been in the south too long. Sorry about that. That's all right. I'd love to be in the south. All right. Um well, you know, there's that song, I Feel Good, right, from yeah. long ago. So I did good. Co goes cocaine ridden good. James Brown, yes. Is there a testimony coming out <laughs> oh, of this? Oh, well, I wasn't, I didn't bring it up for that reason, but, okay. you know. Are you going somewhere with this? The I feel good, I did good. Oh, I got you. Covered up in that no, I'm secular not going mess. No, I'm with it. All right. Yeah. Well, yes. let me let me say this out of a foreign, and I can take. Yeah, I've had enough of this nonsense. This is all deception, folks. Do you know where the white lab coat came from? Do you know where it came from? No. Madison Avenue in New, in New York, the ad guys mm -hmm. decided to build something for scientists that would make them look pure, knowledgeable, oh. smart. So they came up with a lab, the white lab. Well, where did that white lab coat come from? I trust in the Lord and all things are added. I walked through the, you have to understand something. My 83-year-old mother mm -hmm. has been in this lake cabin for over 40 years. Mm -hmm. She's got stuff from 1972 in this place. Oh. At one at one point, she sold Mary Kay Cosmetics. So I think they all got these white oh. lab cosmetic coats. I yeah, it's just a white long. Okay, lab. it's a lab coat. Yeah. Yeah. When you're, what's how's that Mary Mary well, Kay cosmetics song go? <laughs> Be alive, enthusiastic, and tell your friends it's not direct multi-level marketing. Get some makeup, put it on the dashboard pretty. and your back seat. Oh, well, they've got a motivational song they're all supposed to sing. All the Mary Kay Cosmetics girls who are doing it for now a living are probably yelling at me. I sing that song every morning. What's he talking about? Stop making fun of my song. It motivates me. It makes me feel positive. See, the first thing, the first thing that came to my mind was the I Feel Pretty. You know, anger management. You no, know, they got a song. Remember that? They got a song. Mary Kay has a song. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. And they sing it. They all sing it together. They yeah. chant it. Oh my mm. God, it's another, it's another spell. Yeah. <laughs> it's another mm. wild deception. I wonder if the girls in outer space put makeup on. They have space makeup up there. Oh, that's a good question. How would makeup stick wow. to? You? How would makeup stick to your face and microgravity? It's not anti gravity. It's microgravity. Mhm. Mm I don't know. That's interesting. I got a lot of questions for them. You should research it. Chuckle and let heads. Us know. Listen, they've made so many mistakes. Anybody who spends an iota of time looking into them and looking at old footage that NASA provides, you'll mm -hmm. realize it, it, it's smoke and mirrors, folks, and some yeah. and some cables and some green screens. But you know, you're supposed to believe it because they're tax taxpayer funded. Twenty. Mm -hmm billion dollars a year wow yeah that's a lot of money yeah i should be able you and i mm -hmm. should be able to anybody should go any american taxpaying american should be able to go down nasa and say i want in the lab room nope sorry mm -hmm. national security we can't let you in okay well i can't give you any money anymore hmm. are we going to negotiate or not listen i got one simple question for these boys these astrophysicists who are supposed to be the smartest men in the world, just tell me how many straight lines there are on a sphere. That's all you have to do. Tell me how many straight lines are on the surface of a sphere. And once they answer that correctly, then we can continue on. But they mm -hmm. won't. Just like they don't know the, the Earth curvature equation. They don't know what it is because right. they know that the Earth is F-L-A-T. Mm -hmm. They know it. They operate mm -hmm. from that position. Once again, where did I put Dean's book? It's all in this book, folks. I need to read that book. I'm going. I'm going to send you one. Oh yay! 
it's all in this book. Mm-hmm. All of that. Yeah. All the documentation from from NASA, any sort of aviation group, rockets, military, they all assume the position of non, non-rotating flat surface. They have yeah. to because that's yeah. reality. That's reality. Yeah. It's, like, it's like we said the other uh, on the last offering. They know, we know, the only ones who don't know are the deceived in the middle. We want them to come out of that deception, and Satan wants them to stay in that science deception. And, yeah. and Satan's peaking now. He's building, mm-hmm. growing. Mm-hmm. You know what? You got to eat a little pride. You got to humble yourself. You got to go brokenness. You got to you got to come to the understanding that they have lied to you about this, about everything, everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your hmm. church has been lying to you. The educational system's been lying to you. Government's been lying to you. Science has been lying to you. Everybody's been lying to you, and we've been gobbling it up. Yeah. Because we want to be smart. We want to be gods unto ourselves. I don't. Oh, I don't either. I don't either. Well, you know, the interesting thing is, you know, Job 38, when when you look at that and you read, you know, when he asked the questions, the que- well, he asked multiple questions. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? the cornerstones, you know, can you bring in the morning and the dawn, um, you know, all this, you know, can you tell the seas, you know, go this further and no further. But the very first verse of that, he says, who is this that darkens counsel by my words without knowledge? Who are you that you question uh, my authority and wisdom? Yeah. So he's asking you if you if you know so much, right? Yeah. And you can explain your theories on sure. space and the world, and um, you know many th- many different things about creation. He's asking you, you know, where were you when I created all these things? Because, yeah. and he's saying, who is this that darkens counsel by words? Because you're not speaking the truth of what he is telling you here in the Bible, in your imagination, in your vain imagination. No. You're the one that are, you know, speaking these darkened words. And people are listening. Not everybody, but many. No. We won't even get into the called and chosen conversation. But mm-hmm. right right now there's a simple explanation there's either, there are either people who get it and people who right. don't get it that's yeah. all and there's yeah. no it's like the last mini rant i went on on this topic I, i'm at the point where look if you don't want to believe it if you want to believe nasa and all this nonsense go mm-hmm. ahead and and you yeah. know what the good book tells us too there's a lot of folks who enjoy living down here they love it down here Right. They, they they like the money. They like the prestige. They like the social positioning. They like the right. status. They like their comfort. They like the, their ease of life. Yeah. And we and we are supposed to do this to them. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. And I mean, yeah. mean it sincerely. Mean it. And that's that scripture yeah. is blatantly clear on that. Right. So love them and and applaud them. And, mm-hmm. and, and, you know, congratulate them on all of their rewards that they got down here on, on this realm. Yeah. But our reward is not here. No, no. We, we seek the incorruptible wreath. Yes. And, you know, when you said, too, you know, with, with their prestige and their um, being well-known and famous, I mean, that is what they said back in the days of the tower when they were building the tower of babel yeah right let us make a name for ourselves yeah yeah that's why people mm-hmm. people get they get listen the the levels of deception are are so many right yeah you you got people i mean this came up in conversations on other so, social media platforms as to you know, for you heliocentric Christians out there who believe NASA 
and you don't mm-hmm. read your Bible, you don't believe in a biblical description of heaven and earth, then where is heaven? Where's, where's God's throne room that is spoken mm-hmm. of m- multiple times? Yeah. All right? Where is it? They don't have an answer. Right. They don't know. Yeah. They, I do. You do. Well, and you know, like you brought up this morning, you, you haven't mentioned this yet, but um, when you had me look up the different mm. things, mm. the right. Yeah, we got eight go minutes. Ahead. We got eight minutes yeah. to go. Yeah. Okay. I, listen, most of our crowd, most of the saints is a subscription, the online mm-hmm. Spudazo Ecclesia. I may have to change the name from the critical Christian crowd, too, if I get any more strikes. We're just mm. going to go all, we're going to push all our chips in on, on wise or calm as a serpent, and, or wise as a serpent, calm as a dove. We'll mm-hmm. just start speaking Italian and German and <laughs> Greek and Hebrew and not making things so obvious. But the Spudazo okay. Ecclesia and, the, and, the, and God's people, the sons mm-hmm. and daughters of God, his people, know exactly what's going on the yeah. the um yeah big bang you got dates for me by chance well you know when i looked up the big bang it just said a priest first suggested big bang back in the 1920s 1920s mm-hmm. 1920s mm-hmm. and then the other ones like the um like the darwin you know on the origin of species, his yeah. book. Chuck. I guess that was written in 1859. So okay. you got the full title um, of that, by the way, do you? You have the full on the title? origin of species. Yeah. Yeah. Go on the origin of species. Can you mm-hmm. read the full title? No, that's all I wrote down. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Well, we have an assignment. I mean, I thought that was the title of his book. I oh, no, that that's what everybody title. says it is. Oh, the full okay. title of the book brings up oh. eugenics for a particular race, <gasps> and that's in the title no. of the book. Oh, yeah, they leave that oh, part no. out because yeah. Dar- Darwin was a eugenicist, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, they forget that. They don't teach that in science, do I they? I didn't even know that. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. So here's the oh, point. Oh, my goodness. And then dinosaurs. When were the dinosaurs, uh, the idea of dinosaurs created? It said the history began in 1942. It goes back a little bit further. I think the first person who who coined the term dinosaur was in in 18 something. Oh, okay. But they probably didn't do serious. They didn't start burying bones and right. making the making stuff up it, to yeah. to to once again deceive the realm. And this is one of my favorite things. Like you don't believe in prehistoric dinosaurs? Prehistoric. Yeah. Prehistoric. Mm-hmm. That means before history. History is defined mm-hmm. as things that are documented by man. That's history, mm-hmm. a history, a documented uh, a collection of things that happened. Prehistoric yeah. is nonsense. Yeah. That's like saying a spaghetti wrench. Right. It, it doesn't make any sense. It's nonsensical. Yet people yeah. let it spew out of their mouth. Uh, I believe in prehistoric man and prehistoric dinosaurs and prehistoric asteroids that hit the prehistoric Earth that is 14.5 billion years old. Mm-hmm. What are you, the head head re in the land of Tards, of which I'm the king? <laughs> People don't think they're deceived. Anyway, we got yeah. four four minutes left. So here's okay. the point. Let's put a bow on this thing. If you believe that the Earth is a spinning, a, a, a whirling, twirling, spinning, flying, tilted, orbiting, hot molten center, sticky upside down, sideways water ball, heliocentric Christian, mm-hmm. then you also believe in the Big Bang Theory, you believe in Darwinism, eugenics, and you believe in dinosaurs. Congratulations. You've won a dinosaur book sticker, sticker book. It's <laughs> too much for me. Those, they just, they're goofy. They're goofy. I know an astronaut there, mister. We yeah. know an astronaut. Remember when Reverend Lawson got all crazy in, in Tennessee and Knoxville? What are you going to do? Are you, you going to tell Mike Williams that he's a liar? I dare you, Christian, send him an email. Yeah, I bet he got about 150,000 emails. 
Yeah, you're a liar. You're a liar, NASA boy. They sent their one token Christian out to say, well, I believe in God and I took pictures of the earth, the round earth. Oh, Satan is never going to use someone to deceive the masses, is he? What a mess. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I love I love Reverend Lawson. And, you know, both my kids were born in Knoxville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And when I first got this awakening, I listened to a lot of Pastor Lawson until he went, he went south and, and started calling the biblical cosmology, the very dis description of heaven and earth, a, a CIA psyop. And, and started calling brothers and sisters, the brethren, liars. Wow. Yeah. So bye, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Bye. Unless you repent. Well, the, you know, you just have to tell people, read it for yourself. Hey. And, and don't read... You know, don't uh, you know try what? to put maybe more this, in maybe there. Maybe this is what we'll do. We'll send, we'll send one of these by Pastor Dean O'Neill down to Tennessee, and we'll sign it. Lo read this, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Knucklehead. We'll send him a Talmud, too, in, in case he wants to make a conversion to Eastern mysticism. What a mess. All right, we got, <laughs> we got our work cut out for it. We got our work cut out for us. <laughs> All right, you got some scripture we're going to close on today? Well, am I reading Romans 1, or did you just want me to go to the oh, shoot. closing one? Well, I think most of the most of the saints of the subscription understand the meaning of anything in Romans. It just talks about, you know, deceptions and, and stay out of your imagination. Right. Stop All right, it. well, then I Stop have it. two okay. to read. And right. one is in Romans, but the first oh, one okay. is going to be Psalm... One forty-five, twenty. Okay. Because it says the Lord protects all those who love Him, but He destroys the wicked. That is Psalm, because you know in all of this, especially when you're speaking of um, eugenics, right, and with everything else that's going on, and most of us are not blind to what's going on, so. You know, for me, I would just think, you know, what what is going to get me through and keep me focused, again, are just scriptures that remind us of how the Lord protects us and That's, how much he loves us. Amen. Right? Amen. It's very comforting. It's very, it's yeah. very, it's peaceful. That, yeah. Listen, it's there for a reason. And by the way. Right. <laughs> we don't, we don't hover over the chat. Uh, we're not buffering again. Praise God. Isn't that amazing? Hallelujah. Yeah, and, and by the way, wow. one, of the, one of our valued saints of the subscription said, on the origin of species by means of natural selection or the preservation of favored races in the struggle for life. That's the full title yeah. of, oh, of, of, of Charles you, Darwin's book. Yes. Yeah. Amen and amen. Amen. Wow. I'm telling you what, these saints Fabulous. are the subscription. Are I know they're a lot wiser, it, and thank they're a lot wiser than I am. We need your all anybody's help, everyone's help. We're all you know I don't want to use the term I think I told you. this together, but we have to stick together and encourage one another. Amen. Mm -hmm. I told you what, so, what, what part of the body of Christ I am. I'm the fourth toe on the left foot <laughs> from the big toe that way. That way. Okay. I'm a chucklehead. I, I don't care where I am, just as long as Amen I'm Amen to there. that. Isn't that the truth? Just as long as I'm oh. there. God bless you. I got, oh, well, well, got so, Holy Ghost there. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yep. yeah. So right. we'll end with Romans 8.31 okay. through 37. It says, what shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Since he did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for all of us, won't he also give us everything else? Who dares wow. accuse us, whom God has chosen for his own? No one, for God himself, has even given us right standing with himself. Who will then condemn us? No one, for Christ Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us. And he's sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand, pleading for us. Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? As the scriptures say, for your sake, we're killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. 
No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. Wow. Amen. 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 That's powerful scripture. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. That was, that was. You're welcome. That was really good. Thank you. Well, don't thank me. I mean, thank, thank, thank you, Lord. Well, thank you for reading it. Yeah. Listen, well, we're vessels. Welcome. That's the V at we the end are. of your name. It's the KJV. <laughs> v is for vessel. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that was, that was good. We're a little yeah. bit over today, but. Oh, well. So what? They were a little late in docking, too, last night at the International Space Station. When they oh. flew, when, uh, uh, no, yeah, no, no hidden, no, es, no esoterian uh, delivery here. Yeah, when they flew the dragon into the heavens. Mm. Okay, Elon. Yeah. yeah they, they, uh, de- they were waiting for the sun to go down. And what they don't understand is there's about, oh, I'd say, I don't know, somewhere between a million, 10 million, 100 million people realm wide maybe a billion people who are watching their every move hmm. so when they say well we're going to wait 10 minutes so the sun goes down you know the interstellar sunset tick tock up there in Floatyville, because 45 minutes later the sun comes up yeah. 45 minutes later the sun goes down 45 minutes later, the sun comes up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So you can't sit up there and waste a half an hour and then not have people know that you, we got you on the stop clock. They're in big trouble. Let me tell you something. First of all, we need to defund NASA. That's never going to happen. But as long as the you-know-whos are in charge, you know, mm-hmm. the people with the boots and the, the fully extended right arms, goose-stepping through the streets of Washington, D.C. What a mess. Anyway, I'll do my part. I'm, I'm sick of paying NASA money to do nothing. Make space salad and space grease. <laughs> Who puts their equipment on the outside of, of their car? That's like me putting my battery and my alternator, my whole engine on the outside of the truck. That's what they did. They put all the important stuff, hard drives, cables, reflectors Mm -hmm. energy sources come on folks use your gray matter what a mess Mm. i I should have just ended (laughs) with that beautiful scripture i know they they just get me going this this is who works at nasa (laughs) bunch of those charles darwin hairy space monkey dweebs all right that's enough (laughs) <laughs> For those of you who were able to able oh, to watch my. today, you're probably the lucky ones because thank you. Yeah, be, because I got a feeling they're gonna I gotta get I'm gonna get struck out here. Anyway, I wanted to save this to remember our our deal. What deal? To save it so that we can uh, reference. Oh, it. oh yes, yes. We're taking. It. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Do do ba da 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 ba da. Speaking of that, Max Malone and uh, North of the... Ooh, that was loud. That I'm sorry. That was you sending it to me. Okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't turn my volume down. Yep. We said we were going to do that. All right. We're, now, All right. We're wait, now we're five minutes over. So anyway. Okay. Um, Max Malone I and... thought I had some nice out music somewhere. You were going to say something that. about Max Malone. Oh, well, Max was back, and I, I did listen to that live. Oh. We did a live thing with uh, North of the 49th. Yeah, 49th. And, uh, How was that? It was good. I kind of drifted mm-hmm. off to slumberland with it last night. but. Uh, mm. um, hmm. I'll have to check it out. Well, it's nice to have him back. Along and, and with some, the other well, one you sent you know, me today. A lot of people use the, use the girl from Ipanema for hold music, but, you know, I... Mm-hmm. Max is a brother. I can read another scripture if you'd like. I'd rather He's, read scripture than... Well, um, why don't you go ahead and read scripture? I'll try to find this. Um, it was a beautiful piece. Speaking of the the Spudazu Ecclesia down in Alabama, uh, uh-huh. Miss, Miss Nancy had made a reference. Scripture on... Um, it's the I think it's a psalm scripture. Clap your hands uh, unto the Lord. Oh. And that made me think of the uh, song. So I went and mm-hmm. got the song... But then I haven't yeah. played it yet. So 
Yeah. If I if well, I had an audio engineer who was worth a hoot and nanny, you mm -hmm. know, but I don't. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Scripture, and then as soon as you're done with scripture, we'll say well, amen. Well, no, we I think. Yeah, I think the other one that you had was uh, Romans 1, 18 through 25. It says, but God shows his anger from heaven against all sinful, wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. Right. They know the truth about God because he has made it obvious to them. For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and the sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing God. Yes, they knew God, but they wouldn't worship him as God or even give him thanks as they began to think of foolish ideas of what God was like. As a result, their minds became dark and confused. Yep. Claiming to be wise, they yep. instead became utter fools. And instead of worshiping the glorious ever-living God, they worship idols made to look like mere people and birds and animals and reptiles. Yep. So God abandoned them to do whatever shameful things their heart desired. Yep. I think I was supposed to stop there, but that's fine. Yeah. Well. Well, God. So bless it's you this the morning. darkness, you know, just like that. Uh, Job thirty-eight says, right? Yeah. Well, well, this one that we just read talks about their darkened hearts. Well, sure. when you have a darkened heart, guess, guess what? You're going to speak darkened words and have darkened knowledge. And that's what he's saying. So the two really tie in, the Job 38 and, and this Romans 1. Yeah, it's that's like all. we talked about, too. Where are they going in, out, and where are they going in outer space in Floatyville? They're going into yeah. eternal, infinite darkness. darkness. Oh, that's and a good And they point. love it there. Yeah, that's a good Yeah, but point. I thought the sunshine, light, in the, not in outer space. It's dark in outer space. We are the gods of outer space. We are science. Man, those people, they, be, they better get a handle on things and butt quick. So that's it. Just give me the uh, definition of how many straight lines are on the surface of a sphere. A perfectly, I don't care, it can be an oblate spheroid. It can be a pear-shaped. I'll even give them the answer. There are no straight lines. None. None. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So every time you take a look at the Bolivian salt flats or the Mississippi River or the Nile River mm -hmm. or the state of Florida, which is the number one flattest state in the 50, Florida. You know where my state is with all these, these bodies of water? Fifth. Mm. Year one, I'm number five. You know where Kansas is? I remember is? we looked that up one yeah. time. You know where Kansas is? Is it three or No, seven four? or eight. And everybody thinks oh, that Kansas wow. is as flat as a pancake. Guess what? It is, folks. But it's not as flat as Florida. It's not as flat as Minnesota. Yeah. It's flat everywhere, yeah. people. Yeah. Quit living in this delusion that you mm -hmm. live in. All right. Got mm -hmm. any more scripture? No, I think that's about it. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> well, I mean, I can find You're a good scripture reader. if you'd like me to. No, we gotta get out of here. Now we're ten minutes over. Yeah. Okay. But we well, don't thank you. We don't exactly and here's if we will end on scripture. Here's the deal. You know, I can I can hear some of them, you know, the non believers, the oh, lukewarms. Yes. They're getting angrier as as at the minute. Mm -hmm. Well, wait a minute. I was taught in school that I I, I, I went to I went to university and I'm a I got a, a minor in science and, and mechanical engineering. Well good. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. You can build a box. Great. You know, build me a sphere and, and make it functional, something that, that can function on the outside of a rotating, spinning, at faster than a, a rifle bullet, mm -hmm. make it functioning. It's a mess. Did so you here, trim your beard again? No, I haven't showered for a couple of days. I probably got some <laughs> syrup, syrup. I didn't in ask it. you that, but well, it I get looks syrup. Like you trimmed it some more. I get syrup in it, or pizza sauce, or something what like that. What did you tell me the other day? You I were. Don't know. I told you, you a joke. You were washing some syrup or something. <laughs> I told you that I keep a cow, right, outside of my fisherman in the box, right, so I can get fresh milk, <laughs> right. But oh I have to tell him a story. I have to read him a story and, or, or no milk. So I have to go wow. out, lift his little cow ear, lift his cow ear up, 
tell him a story like, you know, I don't know, read him Good Night Moon or some kid's book, right? So I can get milk. It goes right in one ear and then out the Where'd other. Where'd you get this cow? Right in one ear and out the other. Oh. In one ear and out the other. Good. That's funny. <laughs> Rough room this morning. And where's your moose? You My moose is you... in the Dollar General store. I'm going to get a moose. Oh, you haven't gotten him yet. I got, I got all sorts wow. of, I got all if sorts of. If you're going to get a moose, I want to get a moose. Hey, I'll just have you, to put him on my table. You oh, fit? you said he's three feet tall, so that'll work out well. Well, he I is. don't know. See, I need him. You ever see, he's probably the, sm know, he's probably the state's smallest moose. Mm -hmm. But I my, might have to put mine on a box. So my school, my school of fish up on the wall are getting lonely, so they want a moose. I'm going to have this whole loft studio looking like the outside of Minnesota <laughs> outdoors. Is he outdoors in Minnesota? Yeah, I think he is. I think he's outdoors. Huh. Outdoors. It would have to snow in here for me to buy outdoors. I don't want to go to snow. All right. I am just rambling now. It's too bad you can't, um, you know, do your show, out the, the offering. I'm sorry. Outside in the snow, that would be so pretty. Facing over the lake. I got a few more technical things. My my remote camera option is not so good. So mm. I'll be working on that. But we don't need one right now. Listen, mm -hmm. I thank the Lord that we're even doing what we're doing. Because to this day, I'm still amazed. I know it. I'm still amazed that I'm we're even it able to do this. All yeah. Right. So thank you, okay. Lord. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. So, um, yeah, you read the scripture, and we'll just go ahead and say, well, maybe. what? Yeah. Well, you know, we, we just always pray. Our prayer every day before yeah. we start is that we bring glory to him. That's it. Yep. Ain't, no, ain't no Patreon accounts here. No, and it's not about us either. No. And listen, if ministries have to make money, we, we get that too. I don't want people to get yeah. the wrong idea. No, yeah. But right. Some of these knuckleheads out here, and we'll do an offering on those clowns and clodhoppers. Mm-hmm. Anyway, and we're going to start anyway. working on a guest list. Maybe, oh, maybe in December we're we're going to we're yeah we're going to start bringing people on. That here. would be fun. Yeah, yeah be fun. that would be fun. Hope so. You know, like the Twelve Days of Christmas. Oh, look at Sing you! Sing that song and look at you. Margaret. Did you give her on the key first day of Christmas? Margaret, you know, did you give her keys to the? Is going to be to the creative room that's good look at you go with the creation in the creative department margaret margaret yes <laughs> did you give uh karen keys to the uh -huh. writer's room again and yeah, maybe <laughs> margaret uh-huh <laughs> thank you margaret <laughs> You just keep on writing, sister. Girl power. Tell you what you want, what I really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really I want a zigzag. -ah. No, nobody wants to zigzag -ah with you, Margaret. Beat it. <laughs> Be nice to her. Be demon nice. witch. All right. Well. Okay. I have a beautiful uh, chemtrail report, too, out of the. Oh, I'm sorry. Con oh. Contrails. Chemtrails don't exist. Geoengineering is just a, a, a figment oh. of our imaginations that they talk about in front of the Senate and Congress. It doesn't exist, though. Once again, who's responsible for that? Science. Mm -hmm. May the peace and grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you this day. Yes, amen. And every day. As always, Karen, thank you very much. For being Thank you, Lon. Morning. Have a blessed day. I appreciate you taking the time. Have a blessed day as well. Yes. And uh, have a blessed day, everyone. Yes, and to all the saints of the subscription, God bless you. Thank you for hanging out today, and uh, we yes, will thank see you. you soon. Bye. Yes. Amen and amen. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye.